What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series, Shield version. Okay, alrighty. Let's get this. So, in our last episode, we were trying to find uh, Sticky Honey or something like that for our Urshifu, and, uh, well, we managed to do that, and now we have been challenged by the Master himself to actually help, like, you know, to actually get us ready for the uh, Pokemon battle right here, the long-awaited final battle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal my Pokemon, and I'm going to take care of a few things right here. Now, if you guys have seen my Pokemon Sword version, you guys probably already know what's going to happen, so you can skip forward onto this one. I just want to cover it right here if you, you know, if you guys are specifically looking for Shield version. So, right here, you can talk to the, uh, you can talk to the Master's Wife, and yes, She's going to be like, oh, Draven, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, do you collect Watts? Yes, I do. Of course you do. You're such a pro at all this, Draven. All, or, like, I'll have you uh, I'll have you know that the Watt business is posit uh, positively booming right, in that, right around here. They say that those who hold the most Watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up Watts to spruce up the dojo a bit just to get some more gear. But both my darling hubby and my son are more of the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect as many watts on all on my own. If you ever happen to have some watts to spare, Draven, I'd be glad to take them. Oh, but I wouldn't be asked I wouldn't ask you to give them to me without anything in return. This would be a business transaction, of course. I'll reward you generously. Where or whenever you have extra watts, simply come and talk to me. So obviously if we give her a, a few watts here and there, guys, then she's going to be able to grab some stuff that we need right here. Like 50,000 or 5,000 watts will actually get you a stylist for this dojo. That way you can change up your hairstyle if you don't want to keep that, you know, um, that uh, dojo hairstyle. Now, I don't know exactly what I did in uh, my extra version, in my extra shield version, but I changed up my style my hairstyle and I still kept the uniform so if you guys can tell me how to change that that would be great as you can see we got ourselves a hairstylist now we gathered 10,000 and she will actually be getting us a Rotom uh, or a PC basically the only thing is that we need to actually give her 50,000 just to actually power it up and get some more stuff right here so as you can see we got a, a PC and it's still asleep on us and from what she's saying this doesn't look quite right there's something written on the screen here now let me see thank you for your purchase time uh, to get your new road to me up and running you must first install our proprietary software to order a copy today contact our sales department at what they're simply trying to gouge us for more what of all greedy convenient business practices I'm uh, awfully sorry for this Draven but it looks like we need a bit more of your help to get our Rotami uh, running now I'm going to give her an extra 50k there we go that way you know everything gets taken care of 20k will actually power up that that Rotami or the PC I like to call it the PC and all that stuff and then I guess the rest of the wattage she'll actually buy a vending machine and two two different flavors of uh, of uh, liquids or flour or waters or whatever. So there you go. We got ourselves a PC here into the PC here into the uh, Isle of Armor. And well, let's see. We got 30 pa 30k. So she's gonna get us, of course, a vending machine. And yes, we got some vending machines. There we go. Look at that. She's glug glug glugging. And yes, a refreshing water. We're able to make drinks less a uh, usual price, so I'd give you drinks from uh, here from now on, and fresh water, and yes, okay, let's see, 40k, we got a sodi pop, okay, so who wants 40k sodi for sodi pop? I really want to know about that. And there it is, and it looks like, uh, yeah, okay, so there we go, we've done all that, and... Oh wow, we got 50k, so now we're getting ourselves a lemonade right here. Now, I do believe that if you give out a million uh, wattages, I I think they, I think there's like something special happens. I can't really, or yeah, you give a million, you actually get to battle, uh, get get to battle Honey herself. So we might be able to do that at some point. And uh, well, that is pretty much it for that. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing right here is we're actually going to be feeding our Ursarang or our Ursifu uh, the max soup. That way, it can actually Gigantamax and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. 
And we're going to give this to our good old buddy, Urshifu. Now, there are... I do have Pokemon right here that can actually Gigantamax. You got Beelzemon, Krokotoa, Deadshot, and Blitzkrieg. But right now, we're going to be doing Urshifu. Because remember, guys, uh, in this... In Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can get Max Mushrooms and Max Honeys everywhere you go around here. It's just you have to collect them. It does come at a price, so... Yeah, that is something that, you know, you, you guys got to be aware of and all that crud. So there we go, Urshifu is now capable of Gigantamaxing. And I believe this is the way you can actually Gigantamax more, like, all your Pokemon, too. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yes, he is now ready to Gigantamax. And, uh, well, let's see. We are ready to go right here, so let's go right ahead and, uh, switch. Let's see. We need to switch something out right here, okay, so... Huh. You know what? I think I have a set team. I think I already have a set team. Yeah, I do have a set team. It's just, uh, you know, a matter of using it correctly, so... Let's see. Let's go right ahead and swap out the Pokemon right here. And let's get ready to go for the final battle against uh, Master Manbun himself. So here he is waiting for us. Woohoo! Are you ready for another battle with the little old me? Yes. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the battleground. Okay, look at that. So here it is, guys. You know, I've been thinking more and more these days about how fortunate we were, uh, we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough, Draven. It's been a while since I've been so excited, so I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle going against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Now then. Let get, let's get things going. This is the most fun time in the world. Okay, so here it is, and wow, he is serious and ready to go, because look at this. Paradox Brother, Master Man Bun, ready to go, and, well, obviously he's going to start out with his fighting type Pokemon, Minxiao. Minxiao. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Now, this is a bit of a risk because, yes, our good old buddy, uh, Mr. Rhyme right here, is a bit of a, uh, it has a bit of a weakness. It is a nice type Pokemon, so, well, I'm not even reading what he's saying, so... Let's go right ahead and take care of this Pokemon. And here comes a fake out. He was criminy. Alright, here we go. Psychic attack. Come on. And Yep. Yep, just like I anticipated. He was going to be using that move right there. So go ahead. Switch out your Pokemon. Whatever you choose, it's going to be screwed. So here comes a Lycan Rock. And here comes a Psychic Attack. Bam! Hits it pretty hard, and, well, let's see. I think we're going to be going with the freeze dry right here just to get something going, and Stone Edge really hits us, so there goes Marcel. Good gravy. Okay. I see what you're doing. Uh, Rakatoa could do it. Nah. Let's go with Urshifu right here. I wasn't, I wasn't exactly way to, like... Ready to use Urshifu, and well, let's go with a close combat, and here comes a play rough, and good gravy! Oh my god. That, that really bugs the crap out of me, it really does. And just like that, we defeated uh, Lycanroc, so, okay, so, that right there will lower my, will lower everything. So now I gotta switch out my Pokemon, I gotta make sure that I pick, I pick correctly right here. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Luxray. Yes, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for... Yeah, let's go straight for Blitzkrieg. And then, uh, you know, heal up our Urshifu for this for this battle right here. So, here we go, Blitzkrieg. It's an unusual... It's an unusual move right here, but it is actually the more effective one. Because, yeah, both same type won't, won't hurt us as much. So, let's go right ahead and go straight to the bag right here. And, uh... Let's see, do we have a full restore at some point? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's go Urshifu. 
you are healed up, and well, let's go with the Psychic Fangs right here. Didn't expect that one right there, so Blitzkrieg has been defeated. Good gravy. Oh, man. Yeah, he... <laughs> He's all smiles today. Okay, so there goes there goes Blitzkrieg. Let's go Krakatoa and wait, hold on just a sec. Do I have a Pokemon that can actually beat this guy? Holy crap, two fainted Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Krakatoa ready to go. And I think I know what kind of move it should actually go. Let's go straight for a burn-up move. And here comes a wild charge attack. And Yes, Luxray gets hurt, and so here comes Burn Up. Boom. And that right there burned itself out. And now let's go straight down for a SmackDown attack. And, well, Wild Charge coming, going, hits us, doesn't work because it does get hurt by its uh, recoil. And here comes Lane at the Smack It Down on Luxray's candy ass. Look at that. Okay. And there we go. Krakatoa grows to level 83. And here he's about to come out with a Mind Shot. So let's go straight to our good old buddy, Deadshot. Since it is faster, hopefully it is faster, it will get faked, it will get faked out. But eventually, you know, we could get a few good hits on this guy right here. So let's see. Hmm. You know what? Sucker Punch is a good way to go. And that right there is freaking annoying. Alright, snipe shot. And yes, we are faster than this guy right here. So here goes the pointy finger of doom. Eat that. Okay, and here comes a close combat attack. Hits us pretty dang hard. And it weakens himself just a bit right there. So let's go straight again with another snipe shot attack. This time for the win. Pointy finger of doom. Look at that. Okay. I kind of want to say that this is a little more evened out right here. And there we go. Urshifu grows to level 81. And here comes Corviknight. And I... Yes, I am going straight for Krakatoa, even though it's a little bit of a risk. Kind of a risk. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's go Corviknight, ready to die. And, well, let's see... Let's go straight for a burn-up attack, and here comes the body press attack. Freaking A. Okay, so that almost got us right there. So here goes burn-up attack. And that right there fries this chicken. Yes. Fries the chicken. Okay, alrighty, okay. And, well, let's see. What's going to happen next? It's going to be coming out with a Kamo'o, and... Well, luckily for us, we got Bialzaman now. There is another risk going on with Bialzaman. It is a fairy type, but I think it's also a dark type too. So yeah, either or it could go wrong for both of us. But here we go. Let's get it. Spirit break for the win. And here comes the Clangorous Soul. How is Kamo'o a little faster than us? Do not know, but here comes, here comes Bialzaman with its spirit break attack. Bam! Quadruple damage. Say goodbye to Kamo. Oh, oh. oh yes. And well, let's see. He's gonna be coming out with his Urshifu. I just realized, man, I should have I should have popped this Pokemon uh, Thunder Punch just to get a little bit of leverage on this guy. But you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. So here we go. Getting ready to. Uh, yeah, here we are getting ready to just uh, do the battle of the Urshifus. Now this time, in this, in this time around, he's going to actually have himself the water type version of Urshifu. As you can see, he's ready to go Super Saiyan on us. Look at him. And I completely forgot to Dynamax my Pokemon. Good gravy! <laughs> And here he is, water type version. Good God. Oh, yes, he is looking pretty legit right there. All right. Oh, wait. Never mind. Okay, so I didn't forget, I think. So here we go. Unleash the power. Here we go with dark type Gigantamax version. Pretty awesome right here. Look at that. Okay. 
Alrighty. So who's going first? And yes, he is coming first. And yes, a distinct advantage that this guy has right here is that yeah, it is a fighting type and a dark type. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be feeling it right now. So here comes a max scream. And that right there doesn't take as much. Good gravy. So it looks like to us. Yes, our speed has risen. So now we're gonna have to hit him one more time. And luckily for us, we are a little faster right here. So let's go get it. And it nearly defeats this Urshifu. And now our now our speed has is is twice as fast. But this right here will actually defeat us. Holy crud. So it looks like to me that the water type Urshifu is a little bit better than the dark type, so yeah. Oh, great. Okay, all right, we can play We can play this game right here. Alrighty, let's go, let's see. Yes, we do have a move to defeat this guy, so here we go with the Yolzamon, the only Pokemon right now that's not super effective. Let's go with a Spirit Break attack, and here comes Max Ooze, good Jeebus. Oh my god! How are you faster than us? I want to know. Okay. We got dead shot and uh, yeah, it's not looking it's not looking good. It's looking like a battle right now, guys. And look at that. It has lost its Dynamax, so now it's back to its original form. Let's go. Fuck. Fuck it. Let's go. Snipe shot. This should work. And that is it. Urshifu has died by the finger of point. The finger point of doom. And there you go. Look at that. So yes, it was a much more closer battle right here in Pokemon Shield than it was in Sword. Holy crud. Okay. <laughs> One moment you grasp it, and the next slips in your hands. Okay, by the strength you have, you now have the strength that you let defeat me is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. And yes, we, uh, wow, we did, yeah, it was a pretty interesting battle right here. <laughs> I held absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses, uh, surpasses the master, a true moment in the pride of the master. You deserve a very special lead card from me. And here it is, guys. We're getting him. So we're getting our final lead card from him, and that is the rare lead card. It seems I will have to redo my own training from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? Yep, he kind of lost. <laughs> so you all came. You know I can't resist seeing you. I'll get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. Like I said, in, like I said in sword version, guys, get yourself a girl like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. He don't care. Like he's like, you look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, but look, look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing, Draven. Looks like we all needed to have some max soup tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Numi from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Draven. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous too, Urshifu. Yeah, kinda. <clears throat> Draven. Oh, this guy right here. Well, um, how am I supposed to put this? I thought mayhap I should offer my congratulations, but I won't, honestly. I don't see why I should celebrate anything. I will admit, I do feel a bit bitter. Better, I should say. I couldn't hold a candle to a trainer who defeated the master in his full strength. But when the next, but when we next meet on the battlefield, it will be it will be I who takes the victory, and it will be a fair fight, no less. I don't think I'll lose. <laughs> you, you've got some quite. You've you've got quite an attitude. Maybe though, it's not the as bad as mine. Well, at least he's aware of his own flaws. Well, that wraps up the last training here at the Master Dojo. Oh, Master, I see you're back to normal. Draven, I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make us both stronger. Just so you're ready for when uh, time comes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. Anyways, let's head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. 
That was pretty awesome. That was great. That's fantastic. I'm throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign because it is a the end right here. Woo! Oh, my God. Okay. So, after that, I can't believe you beat the Master even when he was serious. Draven, you might be able to tackle the, de the, the, the dojo's most grueling type of training ever. Restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try to take it, let me know. Whatever you say, baby. Anywho, guys, that was the conclusion to the Isle of Armor right here in Pokemon Shield. As you guys already seen, I've completed everything in all its glory. Now, the next stop is going to be the Crown Tundra. I haven't gotten to that yet, guys, because, well, been very, very busy with football and all that stuff. But luckily, now that, you know, uh, now that football's over, I can pretty much start recording everything like I wanted to. And trust me, there's going to be some more recordings and all that stuff. But I want, I want to say thank you guys for having all the patience in the world for all these series, uh, these series walkthroughs and all that stuff. Now, I get that we're coming on a, a year of uh, this walkthrough and all that stuff. Never knew that it was going to take this long for this. But I think, I, I think it's, it's more of like, you know, I'm glad that I'm doing this right now. Because uh, it, I, it seems like to me it's going to be a few episodes here and there just to complete the whole the whole series in the in the crown tundra now i just want to say another thing too guys big 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 thing now depending on depending on when this walkthrough comes out or this episode comes out i'm pretty damn sure we're going to be at 10k subscribers so i just want to say thank you guys a huge huge thank you for making this a success it's been 11 years in the making uh it's taken me that long when some other channels it's taking them less and all that stuff but you know what it is what it is guys it's a slow process for me uh still trying to get the hang of this whole thing right here uh i just want to say it i'm still sticking with my decisions and all that stuff of me deleting all the original walkers that i've had here when i was driving xc 7-eleven and then restarting it has been better i have you know, completed more walkthroughs than anyone uh, could ever imagine. I know that I'm doing multiple walkthroughs when I shouldn't be doing multiple walkthroughs, but I've still done it anyways, and I managed to get 10k subscribers because of you guys. Now, because of that, hopefully it will already come out too, but yes, there will be Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the remakes and all that stuff. We will be doing Pokemon Diamond uh, or uh, Brilliant Diamond in all its glory. Um, the other thing too is the Crown Tundra, I do not know if I'm going to be doing it in separate versions. I kind of want to see where it takes me. Now, if if it if it requires for two versions to be shown, then it, it should then I'm probably going to be doing that just like in this one. If not, then you know what? We're just going to just do it all in one little one little uh, series that way we don't have to go back and forth with the similar shit and all that stuff. So, again, guys, Thank you for making this happen. Thank you guys for being supportive and all that. Hopefully, it'll take less than 10 years, 11 years to get to uh, 20k or something. Let's uh, let's let's make that happen. Make it less than make it less than 10 years to make it to 20k subscribers, if not 30 and beyond and all that. You know, eventually I would like to get to 100k at some point. I don't know when that will ever happen, but I'm pretty sure it will someday. I don't know. Hopefully soon, but. Again, guys, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for supporting. I will see you guys in the Crown Tundra series right here in Pokemon Sword and Shield. See you guys.